Uh, welcome to the official BMW IBO World Cup press conference after women's sprint here in Annecy Le Grand Bona. With us, the winner, Thierry Lekov of Norway, second place, Justine Brizal, France, third place, Marketa Davidova of Czech Republic. Thierry, uh, congratulations, it's back to back win. When did you start to feel you were this fast in the skis? You really blasted the competition, second, third lap, and overall on the skis. Um, I think this track suits me very well, and I think our waxman did an amazing job today. So I, it's not me, it's the waxman, I think. <laughs> so uh, big thanks to the, my waxman for making amazing skis. And how did your 2020 in, in Hochfilzen affect your confidence coming here? You seemed really relieved in yeah, Hochfilzen, really yeah. happy. Yeah, it was uh, maybe one of my best ski races ever. Uh, so, uh, of course, I get a little bit more confident by shooting 20 of 20, finally. But uh, so, it, uh, yeah, today was uh, unbelievable to win. Didn't think so. Now you have two, two wins. One, as you said, was a perfect race. Uh, this one was really hard work. How does this change your outlook for the rest of the season and your total score chances? Well, I think it will be uh, hard. I have not thought about the overall at all, but I will uh, take one race at a time and see how it will go. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Justine, it's second podium of the season, first in sprint. How did you approach this race, knowing your sprint accuracy, shooting in sprint, was just high, a bit higher than 50% before this race in sprint. Yeah, yeah well, um, it's, uh, I think it's biathlon. Um, sprint is uh, quite quick, very fast uh, race. So uh, I think maybe I, uh, I took the wrong path before on the two last sprint. I... Um, I was nervous uh, because of uh, I, I thinking about uh, doing things faster, you know. And uh, now I, I'm, I'm feeling more relaxed uh, since a week, since we are in France. And uh, I'm happy about uh, today. I just uh, build the, um, my shooting and it's, uh, it will come, I think, uh, more... It's too soft and I, I appreciate... Um, the, the race. And do you think this is part of your process? Because you talked on our 2020 interview, you feel you know yourself quite well for your age. Does this help with your stability in the competitions? I'm starting to. Um, I just... Uh, maybe the experience, the experience is uh, the last uh, winters. And um, yeah, I'm as I said, I'm relaxed. Uh, just uh, I was very, I was quite a stage of fright before, and then now I see biathlon quite differently. And I, I don't know if I know myself very well, but uh, it's. Uh, I think it's important to ask questions, and sometimes to just uh, let the things. And how does this crowd affect you? You also said you are not on the very emotional side, mm. but then a lot of people came in heavy rain to support you. Yeah, Did I, it motivate you more? Yes, it is. Actually, yeah, I, I, um, I am after the race. But before, I have uh, quite uh, walls around me. Mm -hmm. And uh, just, uh, I knew that I have my own attention and my own uh, expectation, I mean, and um, people are, are their own, and I want to be, to separate the two things, you know. And so uh, I took really pleasure today to uh, race and ski before, uh, behind them, and, and it was, uh, yeah, it was good on the, on the track, the good feeling, good, uh, very warm-hearted crowd. Thank and you. I thank them. Thank you and congratulations. Marketa, can you talk about how the rain affects a race like this and whether it favors a lighter athlete 
lightly built? <clears throat> I think the rain was okay, quite okay, but I think we are totally wet and we need to dry our clothes to, to tomorrow. <laughs> it will be really difficult for everybody, I think. But yeah, it was just not so comfortable <laughs> than, like, like without rain, but it was quite okay. And it's your second 10 for 10 in the spring this season. Where do you think it comes from? Comes from experience or from some changes you might have done in the summer? <coughs> yeah, I think it's experiences and I'm older and older, so maybe it's good too. <laughs> and we all know, um, or maybe not all, but people know you are doing masters while you do the, the World Cup tour. How do you combine such two very demanding things at once? Yeah, sometimes it's really hard, but, but I'm really interested in this school, so yeah. Um, I'm studying like something around animals. I don't know how to say in English. <laughs> yeah, about animals. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm I'm really happy that I can study what I love. So, and I hope so. After Bytelon, I will do this thing. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Any more questions? Thank you.